For too long, we have been relying on intermittent vital sign checks to monitor these patients postoperatively for, for respiratory depression. And throughout the literature and many of our practices, we've been touched by tragic patient events. Data from the Prodigy trial showing continuously monitoring gives us a better understanding of how this technology can be used to keep all our patients safe after surgery. My hope is in the future we're going to have a safety net for every patient will be monitored 24-7 from once they are admitted to the hospital until they go home to prevent these issues from happening. The Anesthesia Patient Safety Foundation has, uh, in their consensus statements, have said that intermittent vital sign checks have low sensitivity, low specificity, and slow recognition of respiratory depressive events. In my mind, ideally, any patient who's getting parenteral opioid analgesics or other sedating medications in the hospital should be continuously monitored. Well, unfortunately, nurses are not able to be at the bedside. So for us to continuously monitor a patient, we need help with electronic equipment. Um, some hospitals are now coming on board with continuous electronic monitoring, mostly pulse oximetry, um, but a lot of hospitals are still using intermittent pulse oximetry. And there's definitely a problem with that because the nurse can leave the room, the patient can go to sleep, and at that point the, the respiratory compromise can increase and the patient can get into trouble.